Hey folks, it's IOEs and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Perez. He's in his ELC Even 90. And this tiny little toy of a tank is a tier 8 French premium tank. Uh, it looks pretty ugly, <laughs> but it's uh, it's actually kind of powerful uh, if used correctly. So, especially for things like spotting. Now this is Fiery Salient. Yes, yes it has another name. No, I'm not going to try and butcher it on camera, thanks. Um, but um, we're going to see what this thing can truly do as far as stealth and spotting. Now, if this isn't your type of gameplay, if you would rather action with shooting and firing and, and all that good stuff, you know, death and carnage, then check out the second half of this replay. Second half, you say, yeah, I'm going to put two games into one recording. We got two tiny little scout games that are big in the damage category. And so I'm going to see if I can put them both, mash them both up into one episode. You can see that he does this giant loop to come back right here to this bush. Now this set of bushes is extremely powerful for spotting if you can get here without getting lit. However, getting here without getting lit is extremely difficult though if you can do it then you get things like all the spawning damage on this poor panther <laughs> or all the spawning damage on this poor go or the scorpion that's over there and um yeah if you're uh, if you're I'm gonna talk about but, but uh, some stuff um so if you're against this um I, paused. I didn't actually mean to pause it. Um, if you're against this, then you need to be point firing this area. Um, the most common locations are here, here, somewhere. Um, not too many people sit down in this bush here. So if you want to blind fire up here, then unless the guy is, or the, the person doing it is actually really smart and um, a, re a really good player, Nine times out of ten, if you fire near somebody, they panic, assume they've been spotted, and run. And that's the worst possible thing you can do as a scout. If you panic and uh, run, then you are automatically going to get spotted. And so by fire, when I'm firing this area, if it's a bad scout, then you're going to cause them to panic, you're going to cause them to run, you're going to get more shots on him, and get him at most importantly get him out of these bushes now if he's a really good player you might have to spend several shots and take him out um but you know that's just the way it has to happen occasionally and he's still unspotted by the way he hasn't been spotted since that first time he tried to get into that bush and he he accidentally knocks the tree over spots this guy and then pulls back so there's two bushes between him and the scout, but that didn't work. Obviously, the second bush was close enough to the uh, ELC that he spotted him through it. And, uh, well, that's, I mean, that's it. <laughs> oh, ow. We're at 4,000 spying damage. Barely three minutes into this game. Not even three minutes into this game. And there's still a ton of enemies left on the board. And he's going to try and creep up and get to the front bush if he can with every game spot. If he can do that, then he gets more spying damage. And look at this. He's still getting spying damage. And he can take that kill if he needs to. Or if he wants to, to be honest. Doesn't. But he's getting spying damage on the low way over there. Technically, there's two bushes between him, but I wouldn't take that shot. And obviously, he doesn't either. This just pushes up over the rise as the Lo dies. He's confident the Lo is going to die. He doesn't even wait for it to die before he's up and over the ridge and on his way. <laughs> yes, there's an AMX 65T in the cap, but it's not really going to stay there. Um, and he's going to poke his head over here and explore this area a good bit. Um, you want to get up here he hasn't been spotted. So based on the fact that he hasn't been spotted, he knows more or less where the enemies are going to be. He knows they're not over on here. 
and they're not on this line here now that guy over there is probably blind <laughs> seeing as he hasn't spotted us but we're still getting spine damage on him yeah right 7,000 spine damage as we slide sideways on a hill <laughs> and look a nude is and we have a full clip waiting for this dude is and one clip into his driveway would be great but nope we don't end up doing that instead we just get spine damage because of course nobody else can see him <laughs> because it's a nudist it's invisible except for the fact that uh, well we were right on top of it and apparently they don't care that there's an even ELC behind them they're just going to earn even ELC even 90 they're just gonna sit here and um and die apparently Ooh, not quite dead before we reload, but pretty close. We do get spotted from that, and the Scorpion G is on the ball. He is actually paying attention to the fact that we've been <laughs> mowing down his team. But it doesn't matter. Game's over. That is it. And we're back. Uh, this is the second game. So this is Great Taz in the T-49. This is a Tier 9 light tank for the American line. Uh, usually he carries the big derp gun up. But uh, on it, but today apparently he's decided to go to the sniper model. Um, notice, if you will, that uh, wait, where is he? Rumpel Foreskin's in this game. Uh, he has brought along a friend, and apparently they just randomly met up in the game. That's that's how that happens sometimes. As this uh, poor LT four three two dies in a hail of gunfire. Now, earlier in, on the week, yesterday actually, we showed off a good replay from Rumpel in that thing. So I find it's ironic that he's in today's game. But that's okay. Ooh, unfortunately, you gotta look where you're going when you're driving back into friendlies. Because friendlies don't always pay attention. Um, there's not a whole lot we can do from the front of the Oho, but he's, if he's gonna give us a side... We're going to farm that thing, right? Well, at least a little bit, because he is now vanished from sight. He's way back at the back of the map. <laughs> oh, well. Unfortunately, the team is not doing the best in the world right now. Um, we're in some interesting positions, and the enemy team's all in great positions. Um, so it's going to get a little bit difficult, unless we start... You know, changing this up, especially on the other side of the board. The the mini mouse didn't get to the right place in time, and so the K KV5 and the Object 430 just pushed right on past him, as if he wasn't there. Which I mean, more or less, he isn't there. Um, but that's okay. Just popping up over this rise, going in with confidence. There goes the WZ132. I don't think he cares. He shouldn't be carrying about the KV-5. The KV-5 is the lesser of the two tanks right there. But KV-5 is what he's taking down. Um, <laughs> get under, up underneath him. Nope. He's going to get shot by both tanks. Wait. Which already just hit us? I don't know which already just hit us. But I think it was the... Um, the enemy already that just done the, their folks trying to shoot us actually <laughs> oh well nice job taking out the object 430 um, and that is that um, swinging back around the other side of the map we're going to speed this up a bit because of the fact that well we know he's not going to find anybody right there so there's no point being there hey look Rumpel's back in the the scene. Unfortunately, there isn't a shot here. Unless the low wanders at the back, which apparently is unlikely. Um, nope, not going to find anything there. He's going to have to move the flank. And the low is dead. The TVP is not, though. The TVP seems to be in the open. Uh, we don't have a shot at him, though. Apparently, all of them do. And the Centurion 7 1 goes down. Do we have a shot? Uh, yes, we. Nope, no, we don't. <laughs> nope, no shot available. Pushing into the enemy lines. There's only 
two tanks over here. Oh, uh, as there are at least three tanks on the other side of the map. So there's T30 and probably an artillery. Well, actually, sorry, there there could be a. Uh, what? Well, no, there's three tanks on the side of the map. That means there's, there's only now the artillery and the T30 here. Um, T30 not really looking. Artillery misses the shot and dies. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Now he is going up against the T30. As long as he doesn't come right in front of the gun barrel, he should be fine. And as it turns out, the gun barrel facing the wrong way. So it doesn't matter. And we got a jet across the entire map. So we're just going to speed this up a bit. Because otherwise it will be a long, boring trip for me trying to explain things that I don't know about. Uh, but apparently we're not even going to make that as the game ends. And so we'll just quickly drop in the, uh, the post-game results. If you guys like this style, by the way, tell me. Because I can do a few more of these. Um, but I, I just don't know if you guys have enjoyed them or not. Whereas in his even 90 managed to pick up a cool almost 200k in credits. Uh, obviously patrol duty, ace tanker, spotter, fire for effect, and some bonds. Um, just the fact that he... <laughs> look, look at over here. Um, obviously, you know, what the rest of the team did compared to him. 1500 base experience is just insane. And then you get over here and it's just like... Uh -huh. Almost 10,000 damage. Wait, that is nearly 11,000 combined damage. I don't think I've ever seen spine damage. That's not true. <laughs> I haven't seen spine damage that high in a long time. And I didn't record the game where I got 13,000. But good lord, right? Okay. And then he made some bank on that one. <laughs> How little it cost him. Oh lord. I want one of these things now, right? Anyways. Uh, and then, of course, the other game. Ooh, we should have started over here. Uh, not a, quite as impressive, but a lot more fun, a lot more action-y. And um, I, I quite enjoyed it, too. <laughs> it didn't quite earn as much money somehow, but um, still a ton of fun. He made a ton of experience on this. So if you guys want more of these, then tell me in the comments. If you don't want any more of these, then don't say anything. And uh, either way, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE Thread.